Spooky fans, Michael here. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Adrov. And welcome to the ninth episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Randomizer Shiny Race Nuzlocke. If you missed the last episode, be sure to go check out the episode on Dan's channel. Make sure you're subscribed to him so you don't miss any more. Uh, some crazy stuff went down at the end of it uh, that you probably can tell from the layout. But we are now going to continue onward and make our way to the next Pokemon Center and do another double battle. <sighs> Dude, the last <laughs> double battle was the absolute struggle, man. You need to go watch the last episode and see how it ended because it was the worst double battle ever. I don't think this could be any worse, so we'll find out right now. Basculin and Marsh Tom. Oh my god! It's amazing! <laughs> I can one-shot both of these. <laughs> I have Why Nut and Mega Metagross. Oh! oh, oh okay. Uh, that Mega Metagross might be kind of tricky. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a thought. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go for the precipice blades on it. And before it has like levitate. <laughs> that would uh suck. Precipice blades hit both, which is pretty sweet. And Zubatman has to switch out. Like I can't take a psychic move from either of these Pokemon. Oh, that's right. They could have psychic moves. And why not? Could have some crazy moves. You never know. Yeah. Th I mean, thankfully its stats are low, but. All right, please, Leafeon, high attack stat, come in clutch. Gear grind? Okay, that could have been worse. Yeah. That's scary, though. Yeah. It only hit twice, though. All right, come on, Leafeon. It Press up his blades. It's not gonna do much, man. Metagross is super bulky. <laughs> Crap. What does Magic Room do? Uh, that was one of the moves that I had on my Pokemon. Um... Their held items lose their effect. Okay, that doesn't matter. Um, man, oh boy. <laughs> my game is so slow. What is that? Oblivion Wing. Oh. But luckily for me, he didn't target my Tababulu. Is Me Mega Metagross's defense or special defense higher? Its defense is definitely higher. Okay, so I'm gonna flamethrower it. Yeah, definitely. It's spe it's special. Its defense is much higher. Uh, like regular Metagross is like base 110 or something defense. I think Mega Metagross is like base 130 or 150. It's like really really high. Okay, I made it to the Pokemon Center. Hallelujah. All right. Oh, there's only one trainer here. No, I was hoping for randomized items. All right, well, I'm gonna grab some potions here now that I actually have money again. Because I can't. Right, the Metagross goes cause... down. That was good that you knocked it out though, because that's like that's super scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's super scary. So anyway, we're gonna head our way down to hopefully take on Lana's trial, guys, which is gonna be our second trial of the playthrough so far and uh we mentioned last episode but the next shiny hunt is going to be before kiawe's trial and wella volcano park is what we we're planning to do so i'm going to skip some trails i just did the double battle and i'm heading down to brooklyn hill now um so uh, here's lana herself so anyway our question today today guys what is your favorite water type pokemon so I don't know if you have an answer for this one. I don't even know if you answered last question of the day's answer, but... I uh, Oh, no, I, I didn't. You're right. I never thought... <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'll forgive you. It's okay. So, what's your favorite water type, man? The people need uh, to know. Mine is... Oh, Twin Needle, please. Okay, that does nothing. Okay, thank God. Um, Mine is probably Lapras. Or no, it's, it's either... No, Lapras is my favorite ice type. Uh, what do you call it? Uh... Blastoise is my favorite water type. Okay. I just want to say that I'm facing Kukui right now, and he does this thing where he, like, punches forward, and he has a ring, and and me and Kukui are both... Oh, nice. no! We have our rings. What? what? What happened? Oh, he used powder? Yeah. Okay, oh, thank God didn't that didn't about, do very much. Didn't we talk about powder earlier in the Yeah, the I've, like, never heard of the move. <laughs> why did it... Have, does this... That, that why not might have had Prankster. Oh, yeah, it might have, because if it went faster, it definitely had Prankster, because why not is super slow. Yeah. Yes! Leaf Blade! Oh, Rejoice! But, hey, I have good things happening on my end, too. <laughs> yes! Golbat! Let's see what it looks like, dude. I'm excited. And what its ability is going to be. What was Zubat's ability? Uh, Effect Spore. Okay, I'm curious to see what this is going to be. Let's see what Golbat looks like. Ooh! Go Batman! <laughs> Go Batman! The, Dude, its mouth its is like the same color as the rest of its body. That's funny. 
<laughs> it's just like a bl uh, like a dark void, I guess. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so excited to see what the ability is. And you might, because you've had that suit belt, you very well might evolve like right away with one more level. Maybe. We'll I don't want to get my hopes too high, but. It'll be quick though. It'll be in the next few for sure. Was there was there a trainer between this double battle and the Pokemon Center? You can if you take the high road, you don't have to do it. I'm okay. already at Lana's trial, so um, yeah, I, I just skipped. I think there might be one more trainer in the woods over there, but I just kind of went. So okay, I figured it wasn't too big of a deal. I am facing the trainers on Brooklyn Hill though, but it would be really nice to try to get through the trial today. So suction got... cups. Okay, it could be worse. Just always remember that, and it, and you are gonna evolve, so. You'll get something else. It's not permanent, but it yeah. could have been worse. I guess that's the takeaway. All right. That's so cool, though. I'm excited to see Crobat, too. I hope you get Crobat. Yeah, I wonder if Crobat's gonna be, like, all black, or if they're gonna flip it and make it, like, white. Uh-oh, a Tyranitar. <laughs> Mega I mean, you Tyranitar! Got, you got the Leaf Blade. I do, and I think Leaf Blade will one-shot it, but it's still scary. It's still a Mega Tyranitar. Yeah, true. Leaf Blade is amazing. I'm so glad I learned Leaf Blade. That's awesome, That's, dude. It's like one of those moves that I know I'm like, as long as Bulu- Yeah, I just one-shot, dude. As long as Bulu's on the team, like, he will always have Leaf Blade, because that's just gonna be such a good move. Leaf Blade, Wild Charge, Wing Attack, Moon Blast. Like, this thing is a monster. Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. Except for when there's poison moves. True. Stay away from those. Stay away from those. Okay, so go over here. There is a hidden TM uh, for Scald in this place, so definitely want to make sure we grab that. Where is it? Um, it's, I think, in the second pond as you work your way through Brooklyn Hill. Oh, I guess I'm facing Plumeria here. Pokemon trainer Herbert. Herbert? <laughs> Herbert. <laughs> a Trapinch. Oh my god, Herbert. <laughs> All right, so my favorite water type Pokemon is, um, <laughs> what is my favorite water type Pokemon? Um, that's actually a, a, a phenomenal question. I really like Rota, Rotom Washing Machine. I feel oh, like really? Rotom Wash, yeah, I really like Rotom Wash. It's a cool, cool little dude. Um, what other water types do I really like? Um, Araquanid. Oh, yes. Araquanid's super cool. When I think of my favorite Pokemon of every type, I just immediately think of that type and a bug type. <laughs> I get my answer. It's an easy, it's an easy equation for me. So, it's like, what fits with this? Oh, I wonder if the Wishy Washies are gonna be randomized. You do have to fight them, though, right? Yeah, I think so. I, I think I, I would imagine they're gonna be randomized. A Pelipper. <laughs> That's actually kind of scary. I feel like I can. Oh, you know what though? I could wild charge it. I feel like Leaf Blade would one shot it, but I'm gonna wild charge it because I know that's gonna one shot it. Yo, imagine if it's Volt Absorb though. Okay, that's not. I got a Picky Peck. Volt Absorb Pelipper, dude? That would be nuts. That would be next level. Tux grew to 25. Yo, Tux is heavy listing. Wants to learn the move Lunge. Do Whoa. I dare teach him lunge? That's a strong bug move, isn't it? It is. I feel like it's worth teaching it to him. But Noble Roar has been very important on this on this team. I don't know if it's... Actually, you know what, though? Lunge drops their attack stat. Let me think about this. That would allow me to hit Psyche types and Grass types super effectively, whereas previously I can't hit those super effectively. Oh. Um, ooh, that's a tough decision. I think I'm gonna get rid of Noble Roar, because Lunge does drop their attack stats, so it's kind of like almost as good, I guess. I don't know, L Noble Roar has saved me, so maybe I'll, I hope I don't regret that decision. Did you find the Skull TM yet? No. That's a little farther down. Okay. That was the one I was talking about, the hidden TM. The Skull. Yeah, once we... It's like the next pool, I think. It's not this one, it's the next one, I think. Gotcha. I got a revive, how useful will that be on this playthrough? Super useful. Okay, here's Lana again. The sky is getting dark and stormy. I almost, like, I'm really nervous about what this trial is going to be because this trial in non-randomized non is actually really hard. Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion, anyway, because, like, it's it, if you get the, uh, the big wishy with a small wishy, it's not a big deal. But if you get big wishy with Alamomola, it's really hard because the Alamomola heal pulses it and helping hands it, and then those water guns in rain just do so much, and there's yeah. a game, so we're living the dream right now. Hoot hoot! <laughs> Carnivine! 
Do it for the Carnivine. Carnivine's pure grass, right? Yes. Okay. Then I'll just cross poison this. Turbo Blaze? Turbo Blaze Hoodoo. Yeah, this is where we just wall charge everything. Goodbye. I wish I didn't have. I wish I had a better electric move that wasn't recoil based, but I will do what I need to do to make it through. Oh, what did he go for? Some sort of poison powder or something? I don't know what that was. Alright, it began to rain. Oh, the Carnivine called for help. <laughs> oh, it's a wild one? I called a wild Pangoro. Wait, what? That's crazy, dude. That means that, like, when we shiny hunt SOS mons, it's possible that they call in other things, too. That's weird. That's funny, but cool. Are you allowed to run from these battles, or do you have to KO the Pokemon? You can run. Okay, I'm just gonna run, then. Alright, I'm gonna battle this guy here, this fisherman. When the fishing line has been cast, a sucker may come along wanting to battle, or a trainer will be hooked. He just called us a sucker. Jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Honeymooners Carl. Where's your better half, man? <laughs> <laughs> Honeymooners Carl. That's it. Just Carl, man. He doesn't have a doesn't have a better half. Okay, a Bagon. I shall moon blast you to oblivion. Moon blast. It was very far into this playthrough, my original playthrough, before I learned that pressing B could uh, speed up Lapras. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, can it? Can it? And, and yeah, no, it does. Okay, right, I'm see. to the this totem's the den now. Oh, how'd you get there so fast? Did you get scald already? Oh no, crap. Where is it? <laughs> Did uh, you find I it? Think... No, I'm gonna go grab it right now. I think I'm in the right area. Okay, though. I need to watch your screen because I have no idea where to go. Okay. Yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, if you're by the fisherman where I am, you surf. And then I think it's over here. Oops. Yes, it is. So it's not like that hidden, it's just like if you surf straight, you don't see this little area. So. Because I definitely missed out my first playthrough. Okay! Oh um, god. That's really scary. Fusion Bolt? That's really good. Okay, I'm really nervous here because. This is a download Salamence that got a special attack raise, and if I can't run from it, which chances are I can't, he's gonna destroy me. I have to go to Tux. Dude, a Mega Salamence. This is so scary. I need to start using Repels again. Yeah, I've been using Repels. Air Cutter. This is gonna hurt. Okay, 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 okay. He's calling for help. Please don't call for help, dude. Please do not bring in another Pokemon. Okay. I'm gonna try to run. You think I should run or should I attack it? I'm gonna run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Ooh, I'm using repels. I can't believe that. A Mega Salamence, dude, in the wild. I need to use repels. Like, that could have been a, li a lost life right there. Yeah, it could have. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me see what my TM here is. Whirlwind. Okay, so tides have changed dr drastically now, because you got Fusion Bolt and I got Whirlwind. Yeah, what's interesting, though, is that Golbat can learn it, which means Golbat can regularly learn Scald, which I think is weird. I don't think it can. I think the TMs are just totally randomized then. Oh, to who can learn it as well? Yeah, because it would definitely not be able to learn Scald. Oh. Yeah. I use well, Crobat enough to know it does not learn Scald. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the TMs are just totally randomized then. I always thought that they were based on, like, if they can learn the move originally. But, okay. I guess not. So, alright. Let's do it, man. You ready for this uh, this trial here? I hope so. I'm I'm scared. <laughs> Here, I'm hoping it's honey. just like some, uh, I'm hoping it's like a freaking whooper that I can just <laughs> vine whip one shot. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, man. Do I not mean, worry, it's... citizens, for I am whooper man. <laughs> I mean, whooper's cool. I'll take a whooper myself. I'll take, you know what? I'll, I'll make it hard, but easy. I'll take a mega swamper for 300. <laughs> I can one. Oh well, it's actually raining, so I wouldn't one. Sh I wouldn't outspeed it. But all right, it's time. This is definitely one of the best cutscenes in the game, though. It's too yeah, bad they it really spoiled is. It. They like spoiled it in the trailers ahead of time. That's the one thing I hated. But it's, yeah. it's like a really fun cutscene. That's the like. I'm definitely optimistic for Ultra Sun and Moon in the fact that they haven't spoiled a lot, in hopes that like 
that means there's gonna be better stuff, you know? Yeah, all right, let's see what it is. A Sawaddle. A Monferno, okay. It's raining, so I'm like not too concerned about it. I can wing attack it too, actually. I might just be able to one-shot it. Do you have a bug move? No, you have cross poison. Cross poison super effective. You're good, dude. Airlock. So <laughs> there's rain here, but the rain does nothing. Hey! <laughs> I just wing attacked in one shot. Ah, oh, dang it! I didn't. Oh, I didn't oko it. Hopefully, what oh, it calls in is something uneventful. String shot. That's mildly annoying. Oh man, so it seems like the totem battles have been uh, leaving a little bit to be desired, but the regular battles hey, are- Hey, don't are speak once... too soon, it's about to call something else in. <laughs> <laughs> a pre-marina. Alright, thank god the rain is no longer doing anything. Yeah, I would definitely get rid of the pre-marina first, though. Yeah. Because that thing's got an insane special attack stat, so... You gotta be careful there. Disarming Waterium voice. Z. Yeah, that shouldn't do too much. See how much your vine with those. Oh, wow. oh, nice! Oh, it was a crit! Nice. It's a crit! Very nicely done. Zoo right. Batman wants to learn drill peck. <laughs> what are you pecking with? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not bad. That's probably better than some of the other moves. What, is, what else does it have? Fly and something else? Acrobatics. Honestly, like, since you did use held items on it, I. It's tough, like whether you, since you use one of its rewards as being held items, like what are you gonna do it as a crowbat? I think acrobatics is still worth having, but if you want to use an item on it, then you're better off not having acrobatics, you know? Yeah, that's tricky. I would get rid of fly for drill peck though. Yeah. Fly is like like drill peck is only ten base power less, and you don't have to use two turns, so. Yeah, true. All right, so oh, she teleports us to the route, uh, Pokemon Center on Route Five, which is super nice of her. Very nice. Oh, we're actually, uh, we're actually almost at Wella Volcano Park, dude. Like, we may, may be able to get this next Shining Hunt going sooner than later. Oh, come on! That's exciting. Now it's a Pangoro. Very exciting. Alright. I think I'm gonna finish off the Swadloon. Or should I just switch in Golbat? Finish off the Swadloon or switch in Golbat? Uh, it's up to you. I don't know. I would say, yeah, I would just get rid of the Swadloon. That way, it won't call for help anymore. Because I don't think the well, I think they only call two Pokemon. Pokemon Max. Really? Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know that. So, Giraffe Rig, the Palindrome Pokemon. Giraffe Rig's name can be spelled forwards and backwards. Fun facts to the kids. Dude, if we if we put the hustle on, man. Oh, what? Okay, well now I have to switch. What happened? It didn't KO the Swadloon. Oh. <laughs> what did you go for? Cross poison. Oh. That's right. crazy that it didn't KO. Oh, oh the so first time it was a crit. Oh, that's right, okay. Okay, thank god you used Karate Chat. This is gonna do nothing. Okay, Bug Bite also does nothing, so that's fine. <laughs> spike Cannon? What the heck is Spike Cannon? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, we're not gonna win Spike Cannon. No, thank you. What level does uh, Print Plub evolve? Dude, that Golbat wing looks so cool. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm scaring away some pseudo widows right now. Equinox wants to learn Bullet Seed. Mm, it's probably better than Leaf uh, Vine Whip right now, though. Let's see. What it actually is. It, it's better Wait. than Vine Whip because it hits minimum two times. Well, Vine Whip I think is 45 base power now. So. It is, but this is uh, but Bullet Seed is 25 and it oh, hits minimum yes, twice, so yes. that's 50. Yes, I thought it was 20. So yeah, you're good. You're good to go. Okay. Oh, this guy's got a cool mustache. What do you got here? A Teddy Ursa. I just am obliterating things over here with uh, Leaf Blade, so there's that. My lord and savior here, El Toro. 
We're getting closer to there we uh, go. getting rainbow beans too, which is gonna be nice. Oh yeah, that is. I've gotten Golbat up to two hearts, just like through the regular methods. But we should yeah. also be close to the place where I can buy. Oh wait, no. Well, what? Oh, he's rainbow. evolving! He's evolving! You were right. <laughs> I told you, man. I was he's not expecting quick. that. That's awesome. Yeah, with the Soothe Belt, dude, it makes all the difference. Holy crap! Alright, dude, I gotta see what this thing's gonna look like, man. I'm going full screen over here. Oh, it is Ooh. white! Dude, that's sick. That is so sick! Is it white, or is it, like, kind of a Oh, it's actually a little bit, like, it's like an eggshell color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's so sick. Ignore the pink one on the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Dude, I gotta see what it's- you just gotta hope for a good ability, man. Like, that's what it comes down to. If it's like a really bad ability, that's gonna be so soul-crushing. Oh, apparently I'm facing the pro wrestler here. The- the masked man. Well, it's like Tailwind. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, Reggie no. Gigas! Oh god! And this thing isn't gonna have a slow start! Uh-oh. I think El Toro is gonna be able to put in the work, though, because he's so strong. But that's scary. He's got Intimidate! That's worse! Okay, I trust in El Toro still, though. With Leaf Blade. I crit him, didn't I? Yeah, I crit him. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> I was like, I must have crit him. There's no way that was gonna knock him out in one hit otherwise. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I got through that. It's Hapu. Okay. You there, trainer. Can you come to my aid over here? Little Hapu. Does Hapu Hoppo have an easy pun to do with her name? Like, how and holla? So, like... Hey. Somebody farted. Ha! Poo. <laughs> Are you ashamed oh, for man. laughing at that? <laughs> I don't know how to feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, oh, it's red again. I'm facing red. Last time I faced red. It, they, he's got a Kiram, so I got, I got that going for me. Why is my life so challenging? Like, I can't stand against this thing. It could have an ice move. Mm. Alright, well, Tux is, like, incredibly overleveled, so... Now that I only have two Pokemon, it's like... Tux is just really strong, so it's all good. Dragon Pulse. Wait, why would you use Dragon Pulse when I had a Fairy-type in front of you? I'm so uh, confused. Random trainer has bad AI. <laughs> or he only has dra- Oh, he's got Geomancy, so there's that. I got that going for me now. That's lovely. Okay, let me- I finally get to see what Crobat's new ability is. Okay. Does Geomancy activate before it attacks? I'm just gonna Diamond Storm and hope for the best. Dude, its ability is sheer force. Dude, if you can get a life orb, this thing is going to be the most powerful thing in the world. Oh Human my god. Boost. That is That's incredible. Insane. That is insane, dude. That's dude, Wait, really is acrobatics ability. boosted by No. It would okay. be a move like rock slide that has a chance to flinch, things like that. Earth power has a chance to lower the special defense. Is Venishock like boosted? Uh no, because it doesn't uh it doesn't have any extra like effects. Okay. So what it does, it negates the extra effect that the move does. So like, if you had a move that poisons, like let's say cross poison, it'll never poison, but you'll get it'll be stronger. Gotcha. Okay. That's so a I great ability, to, though. I mean, that's like, a great sure ability gonna... to have because now, like, now I can keep that in mind when choosing what moves to give it. You know? Yeah. And if because I don't think we... I've skipped out on any moves that would have benefited from it. No, not yet. And if we come across any, um, if we come across a life orb, like if you get a life orb somehow, so life orb is really good in the fact that. Like, you don't take life orb damage from the item if you have sheer force if the move you used has an extra effect. Gotcha. So if you use life orb, sheer force, earth power, because earth power has an extra effect, it negates the effect, and it also negates the damage from life orb. Yeah, I knew about that, which is really awesome. So some crazy stuff going on there. but um, So we're kind of in a, in a very weird spot timing-wise in this episode, Mike. I really think we should try to get to the next shiny hunting location in this episode episode. yeah because it, i mean it, we may we may end up with a little bit longer of an episode for you guys today because this battle royale thing is is going to be really annoying but otherwise we'll end up with like a seven minute episode next time so 
Because we're like right outside there. Once we once we get through Battle Royale, we're basically there. And I got a sea incense, a green scarf, a power band, and a red flute. So that's terrible. <sighs> I was hoping for good stuff. But what are you going to do? I need that extra shiny now. Like ASAP. Yeah, true. Okay. Wait, why are you facing Gladion? <laughs> it's a, some rancher girl to, that I hadn't battled yet. So I just, oh, okay. I just have to battle her. Battle All right, in. so... Mike, do you want to cut out the battle royal, or do you want to keep it in? Like, we um, can skip. Do you want to keep that in on the episode? I don't know how. Like, it's up to you. I know, like, we're talking about this in the middle of an episode, but <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm. I'm not sure how I feel about it because it's just like. I mean, we probably could. I don't think it's going to be that that big of a deal, you know. Like, take it out, you mean? Yeah, we could take it out. Just because, like, it's just a whole bunch of cutscenes that nobody really cares about, so... Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's what we'll do, guys. We'll plan to take out the Battle Royale. Um, so, I'll let you kind of catch up to me. I think you're maybe, like, one or two trainers behind me. Um, I'll yeah, well, I haven't done scene. the Hapu cutscene yet. My trial took way longer than yours did. <laughs> okay. Once you do Hapu's cutscene, then um, we'll cut there. We'll go through the Battle Royale on our own. And then we'll catch you guys back on the Well of Volcano Park, I guess. Yeah. Like, I think there's like maybe one trainer there and then we're good. So. Sweet. Sweet stuff. Ooh, Snover. Little Snover. Can't summon the hail today, buddy. <laughs> Precipice Blades looks horrifying. Like <laughs> I gotta I gotta like watch your screen when you do it next time. It's just like it's just like little pointy rocks and then this one like red like needle one that comes out and just like Zoinks. <laughs> Press tricks up to 22. Yeah, Equinox is pretty caught up now. It's like level 22 and the rest are like 23. Man, I'm, candy. I, I like thought for sure that like you were, you were saying like it's probably going to evolve like as soon as it becomes a gold bat and I didn't think so because I had the Sooth Bell because I remembered like in my Platinum Nuzlocke it took forever for the Friendship Pokemon to evolve even though I had the Sooth Bell. And so, I don't know. I guess maybe maybe they made it grow faster. Maybe the Sooth Bell does more in this gen than the other gen. Well, so the way happiness is increased is like based on a few things. Um, it's based on how many steps you take. The Sooth Bell is going to double everything, but it's based on how many steps you take. It's based on um, how many battles that Pokemon goes against, like, like trial trainers slash rivals slash things like that that'll give more happiness um but the and like ha every time it levels up the happiness goes up too so like the big one is the steps though like okay. you could get a, you could have a pokemon at level one evolve at level two if you just ride tauros around for a few minutes like it's really you know a lot of people don't realize that but if you're trying to get happiness up the easiest way to do it is just to ride around on tauros i guess all those trips i like made back to <laughs> the first island off camera to like check if the stores were working were actually beneficial <laughs> yeah so while you're doing that i guess i'll do the beginning part of um the battle royal so i'm just done with it but uh this part guys the reason why we're cutting out is it's just it's just so many cutscenes for no reason yeah. and it's like such an and, and you know what's really disappointing though like i actually was excited about the battle royal when sun and me was first announced but like after doing it, if you if you like, so here's the thing. So we're gonna do this whole cutscene thing for Battle Royal, and then if you try to do it on your own before you beat the game, things are already at level 50, and you can't like you can't battle in Battle Royale until like way later on until your Pokemon are stronger. Oh, that's dumb. You end up facing like really strong Pokemon right away. Um, like it's fun to do online for like free for all type things, but the idea that like when the first Pokemon is knocked out or whatever, that's like when one trainer loses, that's when it ends instead of having it go all the way down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I'm going to do the Battle Royal right now, and, like, all I have to do is knock out one Pokemon, and then it's over. It's just it's just a weird format. Like, I think it could have been executed so much better. So, I really hope they take the idea and improve upon it. Because they've always tried to, like, add new things in for battles. Like, they've done triple battles and things like that. They had the launcher at one point where you could, like, launch items into battle or whatever. Weird yeah. stuff. But. Okay, so there, there was only one grunt battle, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so then I'm still finished. Well, I'm finishing up this cutscene. I guess we're going to cut out now, and we will come back after the craziness, which is the Battle Royale. And we're back. Battle Royale. Very uneventful. Nothing really exciting happened. Nobody died. 
Nothing. I did face a Mega Aerodactyl, but I one-shot it with Leaf Blade, so there was that. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> we had that going for us. Oh, so actually, actually this there is are it. no trainers. This is it right here. This is where we stop. So this is where we planned our next uh, shiny hand. We figured this was good. We'll go right before um, Kiawe. So that way I can have a third shiny and you can get a fourth because we definitely need them. Yeah. Um, you know, and then we'll do one sometime around Mallow's trial, I guess, at some point later on. So uh, this is this is it, man. You can take us out. Yeah. Um, you're probably seeing this video on Friday, the next shiny race, since Dan's going to be out of town uh, over the course of this weekend at the Hartford Regionals. So wish him luck on that. But the next shiny race is probably going to be sometime Monday. Be sure you're following both of us on Twitter for updates. We'll probably do either in the morning or the afternoon, you know, TBD. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to answer the comment question and subscribe to Dan so you don't miss the next episode. And follow us both on Twitch so you don't miss the shiny race. And that is going to be all we have. So until next time, pretty fans, got to catch them all.